this is Franklin McMahon. Welcome to the show. This show is really tightly focused on developing your creative career. How do we make it blossom? How do we build your empire? That's what we're here to do. And how do you make it profitable? This is a very good, actually a very good question that came in today. Ted wants to know, how can my creative business make money? Okay, this question's never come up before. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually come up plenty of times. And you're probably thinking about it on a daily or weekly basis. You're doing what you love. It could be editing. It could be graphic design, filmmaking, music. And you want to take it to that level of making it a sustainable business. But it's tough. There's a lot of competition out there. You know, how do you really focus on growing your business and making a living out of it? Well, if you look at, say, Walmart or Starbucks or really any business or a chain, you know, they don't jump into an area just for fun. They do a lot of research. So if a Starbucks opens, they're really focused on targeting that area and making it profitable. So a lot of people, when they do their own business, they do what they love and they hand out cards and they do some networking and they say, well, you know, if it makes a profit, all the better. You know, hopefully it does. We'll see. Who knows what will happen? But to run a business, you really can't do that. You really have to be much more focused and laser targeted on profitability, almost such, so that if you don't make a profit, then you've kind of have failed. So, I mean, if that's the goal to actually make money doing what you love, profitability has to be a very, very big key element. So that's when a Starbucks opens up, they do a lot of research and you can do the same. So say you're doing a local business, kind of research. You know, Starbucks would look at other coffee shops and see what's out there, um, look at the, you know, amount of people in the area, the demographics. You can do the same. Say you're a, um, I'll say you're a web designer, for example. Start to look at your competition, see what they're doing. Really do some research. It can be kind of fun and very creative. So make sure you kind of see what the, the landscape and the bigger picture is before you kind of throw your hat into the ring. You might be very surprised. Now, you may have a lot of competition. How do you rise above that? How do you make yourself look different? Well, that is the key. Making yourself look different and focusing on what separates you from the competition. Again, using that local kind of theme, look at all the other developers, say web developers. It could be you know graphic designers or filmmakers or anything. Look at what they're doing and see what you're doing that's dramatically different and focus on that. Because that's, that's where the marketing comes in. If you can focus on something that is, you know, pretty different than what your competition is doing, then I think you have a, an edge. And you definitely want an edge, especially if you're creating a business and you want to ramp it up. So those are some different things. Focus on what is different. Scout out your area. Look at what is going on and kind of see, you know, what the landscape is. And also, another thing you can do is position yourself as an expert. As you're doing this, you might be blogging or getting content out there. You can kind of position yourself as an expert. People like to go to an expert for info, but whatever your craft is, if you can position yourself as an expert, people will go to you and other people hopefully will refer you and you'll get a lot of clients and a lot of business. So again, do some research, focus on what is different about your business and position yourself if you can as an expert. And the main thing, focus on profitability. Again, I, I know what you may be saying. This is my craft. This is my art. I don't want to be, you know, shamelessly promoting and, you know, putting myself out there. But you really have to do that, especially if you really want to start a business and you really want to make your business profitable, doing what you love and doing stuff that's very creative. So really start to think about that. And, you know, think of as you're starting a, you know, an actual building. It could be a Starbucks or a Walmart or something. You're going to build it in this area, in your wherever the city you live is, and you want to look at the landscape to see what's out there and see how you can be different. So give those, give those ideas some thought. I think if you sit down with a pad and pen, you're going to come up with some stuff. And if you can be different than your competition, you are going to be golden and build your empire. So anyway, keep the questions rolling in. We're going to answer them in the coming weeks and uh, have some fun. My name is Franklin McMahon. We'll talk to you soon. We'll be right back.